to bring you up to speed with the latest developments, uh, this was, and some of these developments based on the sketches you sent over, others based on some notes that you had sent over, some texts that you had sent over. So, but this is where we had left with uh, DRM 8B, and I think we're just going to call this DRM 9. So first of all, I developed the mudroom laundry according to what you said, more or less. Um, I show a folding table here, and then a bench and hooks, maybe, maybe a rod and shelf is over here. These are showing some of these dining tables again. And I've refined this area here. So you ended up with a 42 inch folding table that way, or cabinets underneath. And you could have a shelf and rod above that if you wanted a rod in this room. And then I just have a note for bench and hooks here. And then looking at your sketch, sketch number two that you sent over, I began to develop that area. Sketch number two. And that master bedroom in this sketch was 14 by 16. With this wall aligned with that east hall wall. So I'm not sure how exactly that shakes out, but I just wanted to know that, or so I did that to know it. But we had 13.3 by 14.8 when this wall was aligned with that. And this was just developing this uh, bathroom down here. I started with this toilet room, and that's code minimum, 21 inches in front of the toilet. Most of these toilets are about this length, maybe a touch less. And I didn't like these two walls not lining up. And there are a lot of 54 inch bases. So I went to a 54 inch shower base this way. And I tried to track down some round windows to see if there were plenty of people make them. But I couldn't find if there was an operating one that was available stateside. And I started following this rabbit hole out. And I found a couple of these round windows, but they're both in, and I don't know what the cost, but they're both in the UK. So I don't know if the US has such innovations, but I assume they do. But there are quite a nice selection down through here for these round windows. They have plenty in England, but I couldn't find any on the operating. I couldn't find any that showed you operating so maybe you can track down something so that you can have ventilation in that little room as well and the room is three foot wide it could be a little bit more narrow the code is 30 inches I have it at 36 and then the way that over there sets up is like that with a drawer unit in between them or this is six foot which is kind of typical they have them a little bit less you 66 inches I've seen double vanities but this is a 72 inch which allows for a 27 inch linen cabinet which means that has two doors on it if you get to 27. If you make that a little bit smaller that's a single door 24 inches. If you make it a little larger which I do a little later in the film it becomes a 30 inch wide by 21 inch deep linen cabinet. In the shower I finalized that as 54 inches wide by 34 inches deep. And you have room back there. I, I show a towel bar back here, but you do have room that that towel bar can be moved out well out of the way. And you could have a urinal back there if you wanted it. And then I start shaping up some of this other stuff, seeing where, and I didn't, you have a linen, you have the linen clap cabinet shown on the opposite side of the hall in your sketch. So when I got in here close to this and started looking at this, I had initially done something like this. I don't know how small that mechanical closet can be. And that's kind of critical if we can firm up what that air handler is going to be and what the water heating system is going to be. Then we can just design for those. Well, one of the issues with this whole thing is there's no flanking space on the side of the bed on either side. And this door wants to overlay the two foot four door into this walk-in closet even when I have that two foot four door shifted down here kind of into the hang space so that was one of the concerns of course where we put the water heater was another this was I think your sketch showed something like this 
and I don't get these windows situated into in your bedroom till a little later but starting out I was wondering if you did want to have you know nightstands how we we're going to accomplish that and really that is the only real way to make the door into the master bedroom there's this way but that was is really going to squeeze that bedroom three down in space again not to mention I don't know how you would ever get a bathroom between a bedroom one and bedroom three and still have a door space available and it might be doable but I did not follow that labyrinthine rabbit hole and then this whole next section was just me working with that closet and the entry to it and wondering about flanking nightstands for your bed whether if the bed was going to be located on that side and I did by this method get that to where you would have maybe 16 inches between the edge of the bed that's a queen bed that's been showing by the way and the edge of the casing and all or most of that is moot probably because of the issues with regard to having the door into the master bedroom situated like it's shown here and so there was more horsing around with that entry to the bedroom and to no good end so finally I reverted to putting the bed over there just to see what was going to happen and ignoring where how you had your window situated so finally I just gave up on that whole end of things and went in a different direction Finally, I put the windows that you wanted or showed in that room more like this which forced the bed up there if you wanted nightstands. As it is, the bed will barely fit here. If it will fit, you have 5 or 10 inches on either side with this door shifted down. I have this door shifted down now. Standard 2 foot 8 or 2 foot 4 wide, although it could be 2 foot wide, which would help a little bit more. And then I show shelves when you first come in and then your hang space and then I just shaped up the top more or less like what you had drawn and was able to end up with this in the final analysis what I did again that mechanical room maybe we can because I still have this water heater out here in the hall that point of use water or that continuous water heater out in the hall so maybe we can get, maybe those things can be specified and we can know how much room we need for them. But I show them here, air handler and water heater. And so when I did all, this is where I ended up using your sketch. And these were the, how the square footage is worked out, 1692. I have no idea where you were finding another 248 square feet. Um, because that's the, yeah, that's just an enormous amount to even taking a foot off this room here which would be possible that only trims 30 feet off of the net square foot or net square feet so that is uh, an update there it is without the dimensions and this closet picked up a little half foot when we moved this over we moved this wall over three inches back here yeah well when it was 27 we took another three inches from the master bedroom and got that up to 30 in the final analysis but have a look at this and see how you might want to adjust it further or whether it's even getting there I don't see a way to expand this kitchen beyond making one or more of these bedrooms smaller in this dimension here I don't see us being able to drift this hall any further east than what is shown. On second thought, that's wrong. You could drift it a foot east, which would be nice. It would line up with that fireplace wall, but that would be at the expense of the master bedroom and it would be at the expense of that uh, east side of the walk-in closet. And hopefully we could still squeeze the mechanical equipment in the space that was left there as well. But then you could drift that whole hallway one foot east 
adding to the bedroom square footage and taking away from the master bedroom square footage. Finally, and not to be forgotten, is a window in the bathroom. And I'm just showing this as an awning somewhere above. Particularly if this all ends up as nine feet ceilings, which might be the way to go. But I'd like to see some sort of glass in that bathroom. Or if it were me, I would like to see some glass and ventilation, if possible, in this bathroom. And I guess uh, final little words on this before this section is done before DRM9 is done. If we wanted more space up in here, you know, this, for one thing, these stairs could actually be oriented coming down this way with a little sidewalk over to them and then just capture this entire porch. And then this wall, if you want to move this wall, if this closet could become smaller, this wall can drift down some and you can pick up another foot or two depending upon what you want to do in that mudroom and laundry. Uh, but that's it for now. Have fun and I will talk to you soon, I presume.